Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Women's Day, the Collector's Cookbook number 29, Cheese, we're going to be making the Chili Cheese Sandwich. Now in 1959, the United States launched the Jupiter AM-18 rocket with two primates aboard, Miss Abel and Miss Baker, uh, both of which were able to be recovered successfully after returning to Earth, marking the first time a living creature was uh, recovered alive. Polish-born New York businessman Robert Mattis created a premium ice cream brand, giving it a Danish-sounding name that was totally made up. That's right, haagen -Dazs. And its theater actor Ken Watanabe was born, as well as Dame Emma Thompson, and the lead singer and founder of The Cure, Robert Smith. First thing we have to do is remove the crusts off bread. Next, we toast the bread on one side. Now that our toast is done, we saute some green bell pepper in butter for about five minutes. All right, while the bell peppers are cooking, let's go ahead and mayonnaise the untoasted side of our bread. That's right, mayonnaise is a verb. We top that with sliced onion. Now into our bell peppers, we stir in chili sauce, as in the Heinz chili sauce. Well, yours truly forgot to hit record again. Uh, obviously, I put the uh, green bell pepper and chili mixture onto the bread. And we top with a slice of cheddar cheese. And you can tell it's on a foil lined sheet for a reason. Because now we broil until bubbly. Okay, let's give this chili cheese sandwich a go. It's a bit messy with the chili sauce falling out all over the place, but it's actually pretty tasty. Chili sauce, of course, is not spicy in any way. It's just sort of like, I don't know, a tomato-based kind of ketchup-like sauce. Onion has gotten really nice because it's gotten warm. Cheese, melty cheese, and then the toast. I do want to plus it up and wipe off my hands. You'll probably see this coming a mile away. Crushed chili flakes. But that's not all. I'm going to close it up. Let's give this chili cheese sandwich plussed up with red pepper flakes and put together as a sandwich sandwich. Go. Well, now I've made it even messier, but I do love the hot chili flakes and I think it actually does bring something to the sandwich and makes it better. That's just me. Well, I have to say the original chili cheese sandwich, it was actually pretty tasty. That combination of the chili sauce with the uh, saute bell peppers, the onion, the mayonnaise, and the cheese uh, getting all broiled together and getting the flavors to, to come together. I thought that was pretty good. And the toast was a nice touch. I'm going to give that I'm gonna give that like a six and a half. Plus up with a little chili flakes. Uh, uh, the flavor-wise, that would easily boost that up to a seven and a half. But I'm going to bring it back down to a seven because I made it sloppier by closing it up and making it a sandwich. I'm definitely going to finish that. And I would probably make this again, but I would probably figure a way to get it so that the chili sauce wasn't falling out all over the place, which I don't think is that hard to do. Uh, anyway, yeah, lunch is served. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.